In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to run the play scat out of the Y-Off Trips Pads formation. This is gonna be a sail concept or a flood concept to be able to attack the sideline uh, effectively. I'm also gonna show you a way that you can actually create the same or similar concept to the left side so you can flood both the right side and the left side in your offense using the sail concept. If you wanna get my entire Y-Off Trips Pads or U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link's gonna be down in the description below for just $10. You'll be able to get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So let's get on the field and talk about the play scat. Like I said, we're in the New England playbook. So the play scat is super versatile. There's a lot that comes with this play. Um, it's really a play that's designed to beat zone, but it can do fine um, if you're facing any kind of main coverage. So the setup for this play is we're going to put our tight end on an out route. That tight end out route is one of the most important routes in the game. It helps you beat man and it helps you beat zone from this formation. You're then going to streak your outside trips receiver just like this. We don't need hot route master for this play at all. You don't need hot route master for this offense at all, which is one of the real reasons why I love you trips is because it's a very versatile offense because of the routes that they give you. And then the last setup or the last thing I like to do is take this backside solo wide receiver here and you could leave him on this curl if you want to or what you could also do is put him on an in route and smart route that in route. So what we're doing here is we're creating the sail concept where we're attacking the flat on the left, the flat on the right, the deep corner and the deep sideline on the right, and then the middle of the field. Now your first read is always going to be, can I throw that out route quick against me in coverage? If you can throw that out route quick, please take that out route because that out route will really quickly force them to have to over adjust to stop it. When they start to over adjust, especially if they're playing press man to man coverage, if you have the short out elite ability on that outside trips receiver you're going to see that he's going to light up and he's going to be able to beat press man to the sideline just like that so what that's going to do is it's going to cause them to have to start outside 30 on that side or they're going to just back off their press man and then what's going to happen is now my corner route is going to have some room to light up and to be able to work against man coverage now the best way to throw that corner route is right on the cut in my opinion. I'll show it to you one more time. Again, we're gonna back this guy off because they don't wanna get burned over the top so they don't wanna play press man to man coverage which actually helps us significantly because now the timing is gonna be more in our favor. You wanna possession catch that as soon as you catch it, just like that. So now what the opponent has to do is now they gotta do a lot of different adjustments. And generally speaking, what's gonna happen is this is gonna then open up the middle of the field here on the left side. So against man coverage, we also have this dig. We're gonna freeform that inside, as you can see right there. Very effective for attacking any kind of man coverage that we might get. Now the last read against main coverage is really interesting is this wheel route to the left side. This wheel route is not the best route in the game by any means against man coverage, but what will happen is he will turn his route up field and you have a chance to free form and basically throw that up and over the shoulder. Now, if you are getting more man coverage, this scat wheel is actually really good against zone. If you're getting more man to man, then go ahead and actually just hot route that guy to a regular wheel. You'll notice that this wheel is a little sharper against man coverage and allows us to basically throw that over the shoulder catch and get that animation a little bit better as you can see right there. Now, really what this play is designed to, to uh, do a good job of attacking is any kind of zone coverage, um, especially cover three and cover four. This is where you wanna be running this play. So what you're gonna see is again, your first read is can I throw this quick out? If they press that corner route, you are throwing the out route every single time. Do not allow them to play curl flats. You have to tag, you have to attack the flats on both sides. It really will help your offense go to the next level. So if they're giving you the flat, you've got to take it, right? The next thing though is we're going to progress up to our streak and then to our corner. As you can see right here, if they're playing hard flats, this clear out streak on the right side, specifically from U trips, I think is one of the best clear out streaks in the game because it's able to clear out the zone coverage quick enough to where it's going to really open up this pocket where you can throw this corner route right in that little soft spot against zone just like that right there now another thing that makes you trips I think very special as an offense in general is the fact that let's say that they're double flatting their zones so in this example here I'm gonna be double flatting I'm gonna have a 
cloud flat and a hard flat zone. But what we're going to do is we're going to fade this outside receiver instead of streak him. And you're going to see here that's going to give him an outside release where you can free form that and give yourself at least a little bit of a chance against the cover two. I'll talk a little bit more about cover two in a second. But there are some other plays in this formation um, that you can utilize if they're going to consistently sit in cover two, specifically like backed off. If they're backing this cloud flat off, there's a lot of other things that we can do. One of those things is we can hit this in route really quickly um, to CD Lamb. We can also hit this wheel to the left. But if they are running like that cloud coverage, you can you can try to kind of throw that up and over the top on the sideline there. Now we have other plays that are going to be a little bit better uh, for cover two. One thing I will say is if you do have the hot route master or the slot apprentice putting this guy on a slot apprentice corner is going to make him run a little bit deeper. And a lot of times what that will do is it gives him that nice separation against cover two, as you can see right there. Now I want to be clear about cover two real quick. The only way they can stop you in cover two is they have to back these guys off. They have to back these guys off on the edges. So what you can do then is you can basically say, okay, I know there might be in a cover two. So if they're in a cover two, now I want to go right back here quick because I know my running back wheel is going to pull the zones out to be able to give me some some opportunity to be able to attack that way. So that's one other little piece um, that I think is helpful against any kind of cover two. Last coverage I want to go over is match coverage today. Um, against match coverage, first and foremost, take that take that tight end flat if they're not playing hard flats. But your corner route should be money against match coverage. You're going to have them significantly out leveraged to the sideline if they're trying to play you in match coverage out of U trips. So you have that going for you. Again, if they press this guy, immediately throw that outside pass into the tight end. You're going to be happy that you did because they're all, it's going to get you easy yardage against literally any coverage in the game. What this play does so well is it attacks the, the, the sideline um, on that left side. Now, another play that I want to go over with you and spend just a couple of seconds here on this is curl flat and how we can turn curl flat into the same basic concept. We're going to streak our solo receiver. We're going to put our backside outside receiver on a smart routed in route, and we're going to take our tight end and put him on an out route. And what you're going to notice is when we motion this guy and snap him about right here, he's going to turn into the corner route. Now you have the street corner flat on the left side, and you're able to flood the left side zones just like you're able to flood the right side zones. This is what makes u trip so good. You can run the sail concept to the right, but you can also go back and run the sail concept to the left, and it makes it so that you're uh, your opponent can't sit on one way that you're going to attack them. So you're able to attack the sidelines on both fields. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to talk a little bit about how you can attack the middle of the field once you start to force them to have to play the sidelines. And then the next day, we're going to actually talk about how you can attack some of these double Mabel cover two style zone defenses where we can actually take some shots over the top. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to get my entire offensive ebook on this formation, make sure to join our Patreon. It's got a complete scheme on that, as well as several other formations in this game. The link to sign up for the Patreon is in the description. It's only 10 bucks. Make sure you go sign up for it today.